Hey guys, welcome back to my video. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps, and I wanted to do a cruelty free makeup tutorial for you because I've never really tried it. And honestly, I was so freaking surprised to find out how many of the makeup products I own are actually from cruelty free brands. It's really surprising, and a lot of it is what I've already been using on my channel I did go ahead and spice it up with a few new things a new palette Ooh, you're gonna have to keep watching to see <laughs> all right well if you guys also want to see some awesome products and also cruelty free brushes keep watching and as always links will be down in the description box Woo so you know I got my my cozy clothes on uh, my little sweater here and I'm really excited to get this cruelty free makeup tutorial started. Starting off with my face primer, I've got this Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. It's so nice and moisturizing for the skin. And then I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. Now I'm not going straight into eyes today, but I'm just going to put this on so that it's all nice and set by the time I get to my eyes. So next up is my foundation. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation and I'm using the color Chestnut. So this foundation is medium to full coverage. Um, it does, like, if you want it to be full coverage, it does need some building up, but you can definitely get there. And it stays matte, like, matte 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 all day long now I'm taking my beauty blender which is actually really surprising I didn't even know that they were a cruel free brand which is just awesome I love that and I'll be taking the Tarte Maracuja oil and putting this on my beauty blender So as you guys can see, adding this oil definitely gave me more of a luminous, dewy finish. Of course I'm going to set this. If you do have dry skin though, it might be really nice just to add oil to your beauty blender if you have a really matte foundation. That way it makes it a little bit more wearable and doesn't highlight your dry patches or any, you know, fine lines that you have. For concealer, I'm using the NYX. Um, this is their HD concealer, and yes, NYX is cruelty free. And to blend this out, I'll be using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Alright, alright. So, because I'm just feeling a little extra dewy, I'm actually going to bake. I know, I, I don't usually like to do that, but I'm feeling the need today. I'm feeling the need. Sweet, so then I'm using this Real Techniques powder brush and my Kat Von D setting powder and just giving a light dust around the face. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and dust everything off. Okay, so now it's time to add some color back to my face. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Luxie, what is this, the 538 brush to contour. And uh, I'll be using my Tarte. Um, contour palette that they did in collaboration with Makeup Shayla. So I'm going very lightly in with this because you don't need a lot. Ooh, okay, that, that was too much, that was too much. Go ahead and just buff that out there. Okay, see? We kind of saved it, we saved it. Next up, I'm going to start on my brows, and I'll be using this little tiny, teeny little brush 
from The Balm. It's uh, got this little nice slanted tip. All right, so surprisingly, I didn't even know this, but e.l.f. is actually a cruelty-free brand. So I'm gonna use their clear brow gel to just seal my eyebrows into place. Now I'm moving on to the eyes. This is actually the first time I'm trying this palette. This is from The Balm. It's called Nude Tude. <laughs> Super cute. Uh, yeah, so let's just see what this looks like on the eyes. Actually, before I start adding, you know, stuff on here, I just want to show you guys, look how pretty these are. They're just like, they're speaking to me. I just can't, can't even handle how beautiful this palette is. So I'm going in with the color Sultry. It has a nice flesh toned color. Okay, so it's not really that flesh toned, like close to my skin type, but it does a trick. It sets the actual primer, so that's all I'm really worried about. Then I'm going to take this eye pencil from Nude Sticks, and I'm going to add it on as a main lid color. Oh, I just love that like army color. Ooh, it just looks like pure fire. Looks good. Then I'm going in with my flat brush from Wet n Wild into the color Sophisticated, and I'm gonna pat that on there. Ooh, you guys, doesn't that look so beautiful? Mm, mm, this palette's got me shook right now. So I want to deepen this and kind of smoke it out with this really nice plum color called Sexy. Looking pretty good, if I don't say so myself. So this is my ColourPop liner, as you can see here, and it's looking hella dry, hella crusty, and I really need to like give it some life, you know what I mean? So I'm going to be adding the Maracuja oil into there to just Spice it up. Sweet. So now it's time for some highlighter. And I'm taking this really cute little highlight trio from the Balm. And when I open it this way, you've got the Mary Luminizer. Uh, the Cindy Luminizer and the Betty Luminizer. I'm going to use this last one right here and I'm going to add that to my cheeks. Oh man, this is so pretty. Uh, I'm just really such a big fan of the golden tones of this highlight. Damn, it's like, it's really, really, really pretty. And this right here is one of my favorites. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, this is the NARS Dolce Vita blush. Oh my god, I've been using it for forever, it feels like, and I still have a pan. It's just, it's just so pretty. And last but not least, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the color Fudge. I'm a huge, huge fan of Sepia and I've been eyeing Fudge for a while and I finally, finally purchased it. So I'm really glad to show it off to you guys. Okay you guys, so there you have this cruelty free look. It's super simple. I feel like it's definitely like an evening look because the eyes are just so like dark and sultry, you know? But hey, if you want to rock this during the daytime too, I'm not going to stop ya. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you guys realize that there are a lot of cruelty-free brands out there and it's really easy to find them. And most of it you probably already own if you have, you know, some makeup at all. So yeah, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the very last day of Seven Days of Slay. Um, and you know, leave me some love in the comments down below. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.